Hello everyone, my name is Vladimir Enchev and in this video I'm going to show you how to create new application with Radzen and connect to your data. Click create new application button and specify application directory, application name, what framework is going to be used, in this case Angular, and whether the application will have server-side.NET Core project. You can specify also .NET Core version and used language, C Sharp or VBNet. Let's add now new data source. Click on data button and click on new data source. As you can see, we have various options for data sources, including all data service, REST service, Swagger service, SQL Server database, MySQL database, and PostgreSQL database. To connect to PostgreSQL database, MySQL database, and SQL Server database, you need .NET Core project, while for services like Swagger, REST and OData, you don't need it. When connecting to OData service, REST service or Swagger service, you have various options for authentication, including Windows authentication, HTTP basic authentication, OAuth authentication, API key authentication, and Azure AD authentication. When connecting to SQL Server database, you can also choose authentication method, including SQL Server authentication and Windows authentication. If you choose Windows authentication, you don't have to enter username and password. To initiate the connection, you need to enter database name, server address, and choose data source name. For example, Northwind. In the server address, you can specify the IP address of your SQL server or dot if this is local server. You can also specify instance name like this. Now clicking for schema. You have now a list of all tables, all views and all stored procedures from your database and you can choose which one you are going to use. You have option also to tell Radzen to auto-generate pages for updating, deleting and adding new records. And you can enable different features like sorting, filtering, paging, whether add and edit pages should be in dialogs or navigate to new pages, whether cascading delete should be enabled, or optimistic concurrency. Click finish button and Radzen will generate Northwind data source connected to your SQL Server database Northwind and all pages needed for adding, deleting and updating records. Pages connected to SQL Server database tables with primary keys will support all three operations including add, delete and update existing records while pages connected to SQL views will be read only. The application is ready to be used. You can run it by pressing run button.
you can sort, page and filter your data and you can add, delete and update records for SQL tables. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.